Hi and welcome to another tutorial on 2D game design in Unity. Um, in the previous tutorial I went through how to set up a fall detector in the game so we can detect when the player falls off the edge of a platform um, to their death and basically need to be respawned back to a checkpoint. Um, in this tutorial what I'm going to do is show you how to actually set up those checkpoints um, and we can detect when those checkpoints have been reached. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to um, show is how to actually add a visible checkpoint. So um, we can actually visually see when a checkpoint has been reached. And we can do that by using something like um, a door that maybe opens, um, like kind of in Mario, or we could add something like a flag. So in my sprites folder, um, I have a green flag and a red flag. Okay, so what I can do is I can drag in a red flag, um, maybe just actually on this side. And at the moment, we can't see this flag because it's behind the sky, so we need to put it on the foreground sorting layer, make sure it's visible at the front here. And we'll add this flag um, somewhere over here, make it a bit smaller, I think. Might scale it down to 0.5 on X, Y, and Z axes. And just put the flag about there. So basically, what's gonna happen is we'll have the player beginning at this point of the game, running along here, collecting coins, um, avoiding bombs and things like that, which will, will set up scoring and um, health and uh, all that for these things later. But basically, we want to get past this point, jump over this um, gap here and reach this checkpoint. So, um, if the player doesn't reach this checkpoint and falls down this gap, they'll be respawned back to the starting point. But if they make it over this gap, reach this checkpoint and continue and fall to their death here, they'll only be respawned back to this point instead of going all the way back here. So we can set up a whole heap of checkpoints throughout the game. So what we need to do is this object, um, which is using this flag red sprite down here, we'll rename it to checkpoint rather than um, flag red, because what's going to happen is when we reach this checkpoint, the color of the flag is going to change to green. So we'll also use this flag green sprite and we'll change the sprite on the sprite renderer. Okay, so what we um, can do now is create a new script. So we'll go back to assets and scripts, right click in here, create C sharp script. And we'll um, call this uh, checkpoint controller uppercase C is all one word, and double click to open that in MonoDevelop. Okay, and here we are. Oh, now there's one thing I need, I forgot to do, and that's, I'll just go back to Unity and click on this checkpoint object, and it needs a collider. So we actually, in order to detect when the player um, reaches this flag, they're going to have to um, run into a collider. So we can add a collider here. Um, it doesn't really matter whether it's box or circle or um, polygon or whatever. I'm gonna go with circle collider 2D and just make sure that it's um, big enough that the, the player is definitely going to run into it. Um, so they can't necessarily just jump over it. So set up a collider on there. And also what we need to do is we need to make sure we tick the box is trigger. Okay, so um, that's it. So we've got our checkpoint here. It's got a um, flag red sprite on it at the moment, which is gonna to change to green when we run through it. And it's got a collider here um, as well with is trigger enabled. So now let's go back to um, MonoDevelop and we're in this checkpoint controller script here. Okay, and oh, one last thing is we've added the collider to the checkpoint. We'll also add the script to it as well. So we can just go into that scripts folder, 
and click on the checkpoint object and drag checkpoint controller onto add component here. So now we've also got the script on here, okay? Otherwise the script isn't actually gonna work if it's not attached to this checkpoint. So we can go back to monitor develop now and go to that script. And inside the class, we can add some new variables. So say public, we need to add a sprite and we're going to add a sprite uh, variable for each flag. So red flag and green flag. So in the code, we can um, change the red flag to a green flag when we hit the checkpoint. So we'll set these up here. We also need to add a private sprite renderer. So private sprite renderer, we'll just call it checkpoint sprite renderer. So we can use this to get the sprite renderer component from the checkpoint object so that we can change the sprite that's on that component from flag red to flag green. Okay, so we'll add that and we'll also add a boolean or bool variable, which is also public. Um, and we'll call this checkpoint reached, which can be true or false. So when the checkpoint is reached, this variable can be set to true. All right, so um, now what we'll do is we'll go to the, check, uh, the start method and we'll say checkpoint sprite renderer equals get component and then in sharp brackets here say sprite renderer close those sharp brackets uh, and then open close normal brackets and in that line of semicolon so in the checkpoint sprite renderer we're getting that sprite renderer component from the um, uh, from the checkpoint object okay so we'll do that in the start method and we're not going to use the update method here. What we're going to do is add another method and that's going to be the on trigger enter 2D method. So we can detect when the player enters this, um, this zone, the flag. All right, so, or the checkpoint. So say void on trigger enter 2D brackets collider 2D other and then inside the curly brackets for this method we can say if other dot tag is equal to player make sure it's spelt exactly the same make sure it's inside quotes and that's spelt exactly the same as the um, tag player which is assigned to this player object so we've got different tags um, that we're using we've got the player tag and we've got um, a tag for, uh, where is it? Uh, t -t 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 -t. We should have a tag for fall detector, um, which is attached to the main camera. Here it is, sorry. So we've got a tag there for fall detector, which we're going to use um, later on. And we've got a tag for player, which is assigned to the player object. So make sure that your player has this tag player if you haven't already added it. And then in mono develop, we're checking if the other object, um, so the object entering this um, zone, the, the checkpoint, is the player, then inside curly brackets, we can say checkpoint sprite renderer equals green flag. Okay, so we're setting the sprite on the um, actual, um, uh, we're setting the sprite here on the checkpoint object from a red flag to a green flag. And then what we can also say is checkpoint reached equals true. So now that Boolean variable is set to true. All right, what we need to actually do now though is we need to go back to Unity and we need to, um, I think I need to make sure I put Sprite here. Oops, 
So it should be checkpoint sprite renderer dot sprite equals green flag. Sorry, just made a mistake there. Go back to the code and, uh, sorry, go back to Unity, click on the checkpoint object. And what we need to actually say here is what sprite is being used for the red flag and what sprite is being used for the green flag. So we can go back to assets, go to uh, sprites, select the checkpoint object, drag the flag green sprite that I have here onto green flag and the red flag, flag red sprite, um, we can drag that onto red flag here. So we're specifying which sprites uh, or which images are being used there for this um, sprite renderer. Okay, so make sure you've got um, checkpoint sprite renderer dot sprite equals green flag. We want to change the sprite on the sprite renderer to the green flag sprite that we just specified and checkpoint reached equals true. Okay, and we can save that code. Um, and one last thing we'll do before we go and check how this works is we can go to the checkpoint object and we're actually we're going to need to use this again and again in the game so we can actually make this a prefab so we can go into our prefabs folder drag the checkpoint object into there so now it's a prefab and now we can go and drag this prefab onto any point in the scene and because it's already got the sorting layer to foreground and it's um, uh, it's already got the um, script attached and the collider attached, um, we don't actually need to um, go and change all of those properties again there because it's, it's set on the prefab. Okay, so you can just set that in a position there that we want. Maybe move that over here. So we can have one checkpoint here and then another checkpoint over here. Okay, um, one last thing we'll do is we'll add a um, tag to these checkpoints. So we'll click on the checkpoint prefab, not one of the instances in here. Click on the checkpoint prefab, tag, uh, add tag, and we'll call this checkpoint. And then we'll go back to the prefab and change its tag to checkpoint, okay? And we'll be using that tag later on. So now let's try this out. Okay, so go over to this flag, turns green. We'll go over to this flag here and it also turns green. So we've reached um, both of those checkpoints there and the sprite has changed for each of those checkpoints but we haven't yet coded what to do when we fall off the map. And that's what's gonna be in the next tutorial. We're going to look at respawning. But that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.